Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com. E-Ink has just announced Kaleido 3 Color E-Paper technology. In a short amount of time, we will actually see this employed in future e-readers as well as e-notes. Let's break it down. Kaleido 3 offers richer colors, increasing its color saturation by 30% compared to the previous generation, E-Ink Kaleido Plus. It has 16 levels of grayscale and 4096 colors, so same as previous generation. But what's new is that it uses Comfort Gaze, a new front light technology that reduces the amount of blue light with a reduced blue light ratio and blue light toxicity factor by up to 60% and 24% respectively. Blue light ratio is the ratio of toxic blue of total blue light output and blue light toxicity factor is the ratio of brightness to hazardous blue. Additionally, the responsiveness of ink means that Kaleido 3 can play animations and videos. The E-Ink Kaleido 3 module is available in various panel sizes including 7.8, 10.3, and for the first time, 13.3. This is a huge deal because previous generations of Kaleido Plus only supported a maximum of screen size of 10.3. And there wasn't very many 10.3 e-notes on the market. Basically, Big Me is the only company that released e-notes with English anywhere. So they have three models available, the Carve Color, uh, the B1 Pro, and the Max Plus. So when will we start to see these sort of color technologies come to market? Well, iReader said that they're going to have an announcement in late April and they're going to announce a new Kaleido device. Could this be employing Kaleido 3? Because they've had this technology in their engineering departments for a while. What, what I've gotten a sense of is that before E-Ink announces things, they have developer kits that they send to all of their customers that have used Kaleido in the past, as well as new customers saying, hey, we have this new technology, are you interested in white papers, engineering samples, and so on. So who do you think will release the first 13.3 Kaleido 3 device? Well, I think it's Onyx. They probably will do something like the Max Lumi Color, sometime by the end of the year. This will give you a chance to be able to have a proper e-note screen using the latest generation. And they'll be able to include now not only the white LEDs, but also amber LEDs as well, because you'll get the best experience for that. We're interested in reviewing this when the first device comes out. And for Goody Reader News, my name is Michael. Everybody take care.